it's Michelle Cunningham, and in this video, it's the ultimate new office tour. So I'm excited, let's jump in my friend, and if you like the things I'm showing, I may do an entire guide below of everything that you can click and access online, so if you need something, you can grab it. Let's jump in. Okay, here is my office tour. <laughs> Want to be in my bed, girl? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you'll see I got some shelves done here. And I'm going to show you how I've decorated my shelves. Okay. Here we go. Ready, girl? Take him on a tour. Here we go. Okay. So first things first, uh, that's my book. <laughs> I actually put a guide under this video with like everything that I'm showing you. So if you're like, what is the link to that? We made you a really pretty guide with everything, including these. Okay, this is Summer Romance. These are little packets. I get them on Amazon. They smell super duper good. Don't they smell good? They smell like Perk Plus. So you have to hide them in every room in your house. I order them. I think I have them on auto ship from Amazon. So that is step number one. Step number two, I hide things in boxes. And I love unicorns. So there's a box and inside I just put random things that I need. I also hide things behind doors. How about these new handles from Etsy? Say stop it. And I keep water in here because I get thirsty when I'm broadcasting. And what else do I keep in here? Random. Oh, that's kind of a mess. Kind of a mess. These are the little door stoppers that I used. I put them right here so the doors wouldn't make noise. See, when it slams, it doesn't make noise now, which was really important. Okay, all right, next we have, have the boxes here, found this. This was literally like $5.99 for Marshalls. Marshalls, I love you. I love that. This is my cheap decoration, so if you ever need to you know, you need shred on it and you just have to put it in a package. I put it right there so it's ready to roll, yet it actually made for like a really pretty little design. And then I got these really cute LED lights from Amazon, which I put the link to these below also. And they change colors and there's actually a remote to go with them. So when you click it, there's only a handful of colors, but when you use the remote, you can turn it pink, you can do all different things. So that just adds a little bit of glow when I do my lives right behind me. That cake is super random. It's a real sugar cake with fake on the inside. So it's like real fondant. That's from my old princess studio I used to own. And they say in your office space, you should have things that are necessary. There's two things, for the functionality of your office and that bring you joy. So that one falls into the joy category because that doesn't make any sense otherwise. This is just pretty. And in here, I keep my laminating sheets because I like to laminate stuff, so I just reach up there when I need to laminate, I grab it. And then there's just randomness. That bucket up there has, I think, my label maker in it. Okay, then over here, this is really fun. So my friend just gave me this, so I just put it there because like that, that feels like a right place to have it right now. <laughs> but I love wrapping paper. I think it's so pretty and I love buying it at Home Goods or Marshalls because you can get rolls for $2.99. If you want to splurge, you can spend $3.99. But I figured out that a clothespin will actually hold your wrapping paper. How brilliant is this? So I just want to show you exactly how I did this. I went to Marshalls and I was just going to go buy white clothespins, but I found these. And um, 48 clothespins, this was $8. And I was like, no way. So I brought those home, and then I got these 3D command strips, okay? These are the ones that hold five pounds. So I started to cut this one, so that's about as big as I would make them. And then you stick it on here Make sure that the wall side is actually the wall side and the other side is not. There was one that I didn't do that on and it was the only one that the next day had fallen down. So there's something to be said for that sticker. I don't know why the wall side is important. But either way, these are just literally hanging on clothespins and I can just attach it right back up there. And doesn't that look pretty? So if I need to wrap gifts on the fly, 
I totally can. Then what I did over here, this was an old frame I found upstairs that had a different picture in there. And I was like looking on Etsy and I was gonna get my logo made and it was like super expensive and they could do light up logos. And like one of them was like, it'll be $700. And I'm like, how about, no, <laughs> right? Like I could do that or I could just get my logo from my book printed and put on a frame. So I called the local print shop I said, this is super random, but I have a frame that has like this random saying in it. Could you put my logo in it? And they're like, sure, just bring it over. We'll see what we could do. And so they literally did that in a frame that I already had for 30 bucks. So that's pretty awesome. You could find a very cheap frame at Home Goods or TJ Maxx and put any sort of logo in it. It was just a local print shop and it's kind of just like hard wood or something. It's like laminate. I don't know what it is, but Whatever, it looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? And then I, I like to be able to grab ribbon on the go if I have to wrap a gift on the fly. So here's what I did. I put links for all this stuff. So these are from, I got them on Etsy, or no, I got these on Amazon. It's a curtain rod. I found these PVC pipes that are three quarters of an inch and they're exactly 24 inches long. I got them from Home Depot. And I spray painted them with light pink spray paint. And I gave you links to all of this below because if, Sometimes you watch this on YouTube, you're like, how'd you do that? And you need to know the exact thing. So, because this was a project, it took me a while to figure out how to get this to work. So anyways, I screwed those into the wall, spray painted these pink, and I added little caps at the end here. So these are the chair caps that I have at the end. Like, I just put them on the end there to kind of keep it from falling off. And this was just really ironic that these like worked. So. Uh, I also put a link for these. They're seven eighths of an inch and they fit exactly over that. And then I was able to put my ribbon right on there. I've got my fabric tool and I gave you links to these also in that free guide. And then tissue paper is life. Like I love to just be able to wrap a gift on the go, not be stressed about the party I'm running to. And uh, this makes it all possible. I have some extra doors up there that I can't even reach, but that's a great place to hide stuff. And down here, I purposely had this built out a little bit bigger because I wanted to be able to put my printer down there. My printer is black and my office is white and pink and it just doesn't work. And I was like, instead of getting all crazy about it, we'll just stick it under there. So it's hidden under there and my shredder's right there because I shred a lot of things. I have a little duster, extra eyelashes because like that's necessary <laughs> and then some random stuff. And then this I was gonna hang my jewelry on so when I go live, it's just like here and ready to roll. And then over here, I have another cabinet and then this is you could just hide binders in there another little magic light paper for the printer these are earrings I even put a link for these below for you these are earrings I get on Aliexpress they're great giveaways when you go live so when I do a Facebook live I do giveaways I put them in a cute little bag I gave you links to these bags also but I love to keep just random stuff around these are unicorn keychains <laughs> Just like super cute and random. But you can do giveaways for really inexpensively and then just ship it out to people that watch you online, which is kind of fun. I love giving away stuff. There's my book, Shameless Plug. You can get that on Amazon. And then there's just some more giveaways and stuff. Um, these are some cute bags or money bags that I got at Target, some other random stuff up there. And uh, I think those books I got on discounts on some random website. So I just put them up there because it looks cute. So anyway, so that is my little office tour. The other project that I'm still in the middle of working on that I maybe shouldn't reveal because one just fell down is I have these, I put these up. These are foam boards that um, you can see how big they are. It helps to prevent the echo in the room, which I think if you're doing a lot of video, um, I think that's important because it just sounds so much better. So I have a carpet in here. The carpets help tremendously with the noise. Um, and then I put some foam boards also over here and I'm still working on finishing up the other walls, but that's helped the echo in here a ton so that it just video just sounds so much better. So anyway, I did make you this super beautiful guide. Well, I had some help from my team, let's be honest. I didn't make the whole thing. I had the idea and then they helped me make it beautiful. But if you wanna grab this, it's got everything that I showed you in my video today. All you gotta do is click the link below this video that will give you access to all of this. So if you're like, man, I do wanna make that and I wanna figure out how to do this, you can do it. And, and this stuff you can do for super duper cheap. Um, 
and and it looks super cute. I, I would say that this hanging of the wallpaper thing is probably one of the cheapest and simplest ideas that you can put together, yet it really elevates a space. So I hope you enjoyed that video, my friend. Just remember to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.